Hi, it's Gwendolyn from Lifestyle So. Um, as you know, if you're on our Facebook page, um, let me find the pattern. Oh, there we go. Oh, and I've got snow here, obviously. Camera's rolling, so he's joining in again. We'll have to move that food. Um, this was the choice that everybody wanted. So if you're on our Facebook page, I, I normally give you three choices to which one uh, we're going to do. This time, <laughs> uh, this time we're going to have all three choices I am going to be making uh, at some time because they're all lovely. They, all, they are really all nice. Uh, but this is the choice, the, the red dress. Now, this is a woven. You can make this in knit uh, because I've just made a commercial pattern, a birder pattern, um, if you look at my uh, videos which is very, it's more or less exactly the same, except for you have two ties on either side and they tie in the middle. Uh, this is a tie at the front and then a tie at the back, which ties at the side. So it gives you a totally different look. So it just shows you some pat patterns are, are very similar. I know, darling, I'm talking. Um, so that's, but I am going to be doing this in a woven. And... I'm going to show you the woven. Um, I don't normally do it in woven. I normally do it in knit, but the pattern says woven, so hey ho. This is a little low pattern. I'm going to show you the actual material. Now this has got no stretch in it at all. If I can come back, oh look at that! Didn't realise it had such a big design on that. Um, actually beautiful but the point is the drape this is what you're after this lovely flowy drape I think this is a viscose blend viscose cotton blend um, but that's what we're after the drapey fabric you can't use um, just straight cotton it won't have um, the amount of um, drape that you need because this has got ties on it and if, it'll be too stiff when you come across it'll just look too stiff and uh, and the cotton won't drape at the side um, so you're not going to get the same look as what you're trying to achieve now obviously this would look fabulous in plain fabric as well I don't you buy a lot of uh, straight plain fa fabric but um, I did have something very similar but um, I think it was a bit thin a bit see-throughy which means I would have had to line it and I don't want to line it but this has very little creases. It's really been creased up and it hasn't, uh, oh, creased up. It's really been put in the, uh, the box, but it still hasn't really creased up. So this is fabulous. For the fitting side of this, uh, this isn't the fitting video. It will be on the next one. But the fitting side, pattern ease, or something that you're gonna do a mock-up with. I think pattern ease is cheaper. It's easier, it's like paper really, but you sew with it. So, it's, so there's your sleeve, there's your tie. You need two of those. Uh, actually, you need four because you need two that's gonna to sew together inside, and two on the back. It is gonna create the bulk just on one side, actually, but because the fabric's fine enough, um, that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, what's the other thing? If you have a look close enough, you see it's got a dart. Now I obviously will need a bust adjustment. Uh, I'll show you why in a minute. This is vitally important you get it in your head how that works. Very slim here. So there's not a lot of midriff. So I'm very slim here and very slim here and I've got very slim legs. Um, but I do have a very large chest. Now that in itself, having a large chest does not mean you need a bust adjustment. So really get that in your head because you may have a very large chest, but you may also, your body may um, be the same together, basically. Big chest normally all goes together with your body. Um, so that's fine. You would just do your bust, your measure around your bust on a Lutolo or any other pattern. Um, just me measure around your bust and that would be fine. When a bust adjustment comes in, this is when your chest is far bigger than your actual body, your shoulders and your rest of your body. Um, now, there's a, there's a few people that can just pick up a lateral, uh, 
mark it all out, cut it out, fit you perfectly. And they also will be in a commercial pattern. They just pick the size, bang, you look gorgeous. Uh, majority of people that doesn't happen you need a lot of adjustments and as we get older we need more adjustments because you'll need a round back maybe not everybody maybe somebody needs a round back or a sway back maybe but um, for people like me who's got quite a large chest compared to a body compared to a body this is how you work that out whether you need a bust adjustment or not because I've also got extremely skinny legs and hips compared to my bust. Okay, so you'll take a measurement, you take your bust measurement, right across your fellas part, write that down. And now you're gonna take an upper bust measurement which is across the top. Now, get it wiggled up, get it all up there. Now this needs to be firm. And that is, oh, see that's gone down a bit. That's gone down quite a lot. Okay. Okay, so we take that. So there's actually five inches difference with me. <laughs> what did I tell you? Uh, so normally with a, if you need, if you I would say sort of like um, between, they say two and a half over, but sometimes it can be two, depending on your shape. But if you're two and a half inches difference uh, between your full bust and your upper bust, then you will need, probably need a bust adjustment. And what that will do is when you, on a letter low system, um, as well as a commercial pattern, but you know, we are working on a letter low today. If you put, you need to put down your upper bust, not your full bust. And that will give you the right shoulders, the, the right arms, arms in the right round here. Okay. And then when you've cut out the pattern, you will do a bust adjustment. And this is oh so and this will give you all the room you need across here but it will also probably give you a little bit of extra room down here and then when i've done that because i'm slim on the bottom if i'm making a dress i do have to adjust that dress because although it'll come in the right size for my top it will be for that size and that size will still won't be correct for me. I'll still have to take it in on the hip going down um, to get a good look. But for majority of people, it, that would be fine. Um, but I will be doing a round back adjustment too. And a round back, I've already uh, done um, a video on that, which is, it's on the FBA um, round back adjustment um, video that I've got out. And that is for, um, it'll have a sway back and a round back. So, so easy. And how do you know you've got that? Well, you'll have your blouse on, or even your dress on sometimes, but um, I think you notice it more in a blouse because there's more, it's easier for a blouse to rise up. Um, you're constantly pulling it down. You're pulling it down like this, you're constantly. Like that, and then it'll rise up and then you'll pull it back down again. You'll know then, you have a round back that you need to do. Right, just a few things. Um, most of you know, who already follow me, that I do laminate my um, things. You get two on an A4 piece of paper because you constantly use these over and over again and paper will eventually get very thin or unusable. <clears throat> right, saying that also, when you use your A4, think ahead of the patterns that you like and that you want to do, because there's no point wasting an A4 sheet. You, there's no point putting one, one pattern on and then having one blank. Put two pa patterns on, and then turn it over and do your other two patterns. So now you've got, you know you've, you're ready to go. The reason why I take a picture of the photograph is because I get an A5 or A4, sorry, um, envelope. I stick the pattern on here. 
you can't see it, but I have actually put on the information that's required for this pattern, like what size I was at the time, what but upper bust it was. I don't have to put too much on, but what upper bust it was. So if I come back in two years time and I measure my upper bust and say it says 100, and now it says 140, so then I can't use this pattern. I'm gonna to have to redraft. Let's just get in. Okay, so there he is, he's had his cut. And uh, I cut him, not, not very good, but just to say you don't get too many fur balls, apparently it's not good for you. And it's been really hot here, so he's had to have his um, himself trimmed up, which is not too bad having to do. You know, shear the cat. <laughs> Thank God he's not a lamb. <laughs> right, so you get your um, pattern out. You get rid of the other patterns so we don't cut that accidentally. Right, okay, so we're, we're not doing the uh, jacket, so we take away the jacket. Okay, so all we're going to do, well, I'm going to put my glasses on because this is it's actually squeezed in quite tight, this one. Right, okay, so, yeah, so let's do the, that one first. So we're going to have to go around very carefully. Just round that 52. Oops, come on, these are just paper scissors. So that's one. Again here very carefully because they are quite close together. Very important, you don't cut any numbers off. You try and duck and dive in between there we go, in between those numbers. Okay, it's got front, A means front by the way, back, sleeve, and this is tie, front and back tie. Um, it says times one, one of each going round. I'm gonna do it times four, because I'm gonna line that. I want it so when it dang dangles down, that I don't see a rough side, I only see a nice material side. My material's s s soft enough. So we're only gonna be working, say, on, I'm only gonna show you how to draw out, literally, how to draw out um, the front. Let's do the front first. Because they're all drawn out exactly the same. There's no point going through every single one of them. Um, I think I've got some complaints because I went through every single one, it was just too, uh, so I'm just going to retake the upper bust measurement here, just to make sure. Okay, so that's that's 98 for me. Now we can put in a tape measure. So we have to find 98, and if we go up here, there we go, 98. Um, you need to take this pattern down. Oh, it's no, your tail's in the way, go away. You just want to recheck uh, this number first, 14, 11 and a half, 13, that's fine, we want 19. And you've got 19 and then you've got 26, very close. Very, very close. Oops, now the pins come out, that's fine. And do 26, and now I'm gonna do 27. Oops, sorry, there we go. <laughs> 24. I'm sure people who've got cats have got the same. Sometimes people who, I've also got a little dog. But she doesn't even do things like this. She just, she's not, um, she's quite happy to snuggle up on the sofa. 23 and a half, there's the half in between. 
24 and a half. Just make sure you get your dots right. This, this is the vital stage. You don't need anything on that side until we get down to the bottom. Now, now we've come down to the bottom, the tape measure's moved round, so he's still actually doing it on the same side as these numbers here. So let's get 20, what's that? Right, and then we want 41. Make sure that's nice and straight and get, get that 41. 21, oops, 21, 17, 17, and another, se another 17. Now this confuses people too, because you've got the same numbers close together. It's because it's the dart. So that's fine, you've done 17, but because you're moving this to the next dot, well, it's the next dot line, you're following the little line on the dot, it's actually moved that to two. So 17, so if you have a look, they're both 17, but they're both at different angles. So it, it creates that, so people think, oh, why isn't that straight? It's not straight because the line that you're following is lower and then that goes higher and then you come back to your 14 and that is drawn out yay right the rulers you need um i do have the little old system rulers um and i also have a 24 inch um was it 26 inch um quilters ruler and i'm going to do the quilters ruler for the long length because this is just not long enough so we'll do that first the one i've got is um shinny merry it's, it's like sticky on the other side so really you've got to just try and eyeball that down to that other one because there's such a long way they really should put a mark when it's this length down no but I put more or less a solid line in and we're going to put fold line. That's just for your reference, okay? So we don't need that. That's the only reason why I use that quilters ruler. Everything else, it's only because it was such a long um, line. But now, um, these both come in handy. They're both exactly the right shape. So we're going to do our... And say, right, so if I bring this round there, so that's perfect to do those three dots. That doesn't have, that. you see that dot's not 100%, but it will be once I, yeah, you see how that fitted out? Once I drew it, and then we turn this over, because we, we need to get that next shape in. I'm only going to be drawing that bit there. And this bit here. Now I'm changing the angle of what I'm using on this ruler so that it's that next bit. You see how that all went together? And now I'm wondering why I've got a dot there. Or was that that mistake? I'm going to check. So when you've, when you've done something like that and you're not sure, I think that's where I accidentally marked it. This is vital if you get this right. So we've got... Um, so that's the 13 and this is the 19. Okay, got the 19. Now we're 26. Twenty six. Okay, so it's this one. So that one was wrong, or is it that one? Actually, because it's the dot and the line, so it's a fraction in, 
Okay, so it's there, so we're going to split the difference. So I'm just going to redraw that line slightly, just to make sure, because it is important that that is, that was like a quarter of an inch out. And we can't have that. You think, oh, that's, that's nothing. That is everything. Everything. So I'm just going to put a little dot, little mark through that one. So we know we've got the right line there. Okay. You don't want no mistakes. And this is your lovely neckline. It can be adjusted. Now, this is the neckline they put on. Now, I probably know from experience that this won't work for me because I've got such a short neck. And this is why we make dresses and things because we now don't have that be choked around the neck. We can alter everything. I've still not got enough room for me to move. Let's bring that down. I need more room. So that's the depth, okay? So this is where we're going to do it slowly. See, I'm only doing one dot at a time on this one. There you go. There you go. Nice line. Now I may have to come down. So why I've already got my ruler here, that might have to come down for me, which I'm going to take it down. Okay. But here it needs to be straight. So I've done that. So that needs to be more straighter. I should have done it like that, really. And there's a very good reason why we do that. Because if you don't have a straight bit here, that next bit needs to be straight here. Because if it's curved, you'll get a V up here. And we don't want that. So I'm going to leave both lines on there. For me and also why I'm here it's got a facing on it and it says three centimeters well I like more than three centimeters in a facing because I'm going to lose at least a centimeter in the actual um, seam allowance and I don't and I'm also going to put um, doing an edging on it so I want more than um, that three centimetres. This is my personal preference. I want more than that. So I am going to mark it. Mark it, forget it there. I'm going to mark it five have to measure your apex on this because it's not giving you the apex measurement because it doesn't know your apex measurement so let me just bring this back round and from there to the apex but now we need to measure in between i'm sorry this is on the skew because i'm trying to work this video differently in between your two apexes and whatever that is you half it because you only do half a pattern and so so this is where it needs to be here not there so that, that's your apex so i'm going to put an a on that because now it's 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 the required 11 centimeters in and the required distance going down and this is where your point is here so i'm going to mark it close to the apex but not to it And the same with this, close to the apex, but not to it.
we normally we put a line through the middle. Oops, snow. Try and get your line as even as you possibly can. Okay, so you've got that sort of point going on. And then we've got this. Now I don't like Okay, so that's not meant to be like that. I've done um, point to point. That is not how we, we are shaped. So clearly that has got to have a shape on it. Okay. So we are shaping this side to here. And that's where, see I shaped it round. Or maybe I shaped it round. It needs to go a little bit more shapier than that. There you go. That's what it did. It needed to go there. And now it needs to go in there. Okay, so that's what it is. We've come out to that. You, we don't have jagged body parts like that. It, it, will, it all has to be rounded in. This gets folded over, so it basically should be fine. It should end up a lot smoother than that. Sorry, Snow, sorry. Sorry, darling, what have you got in your eye? Let's take that, take it out. There we go, there we go. Right, so now we need to go down to... That's not right either, so we'll, we'll, we're gonna... That's your hip. You see how it's come out at your hip? But that's a bit jagged as well, isn't it? So we don't want that, but I do want the other ruler. Because the other ruler is a lot smoother. And see how that would smooth all the way through there. So we're going to come around there. And there you go. See, now it's turned into... But do put your points in, like I just did, and then smooth it off. Because then you'll know what you're smoothing off to. And the bottom of it is just... The bottom of your dress, can you see on the bottom of my dress? Let, let's bring this up. Yeah, we've got a bottom here. And what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to have that completely straight across. But I'm going to have a little curve on it. Just very slight curve on this. So I don't get that horrible homemade look. There you go, it looks straight, but it's not. Actually has, that's the pattern. And now we're gonna cut this pattern out. How to get the dark um, legs in properly. So it comes in a dead, dead leg. You're gonna fold it over in the middle and you're gonna get those lines to, to, to meet. And you see this line will meet all the way through here. And then you're just gonna cut off that line when it meets straight up like that so when you open it out it's already cut in your your um your line it's actually it goes in here you've got your line coming through so it's already created that for you so when you're sewing that dart you're sewing the line your seam allowance will come all the way down there like that so you're just putting your seam allowance in so you think oh my god that's not going to work of course it is just going to end up one continuous line if it doesn't end up one continuous line something's not quite right in the next video take care thumbs up please subscribe and if you haven't already pop over to the facebook group and join there because that's where you get your choices of what i'm going to do take care bye